Hey guys, welcome back to another hiking adventure. Today, I'm at Mount Charleston, roughly about an hour outside of Las Vegas. And today I'm actually hiking to the top of Mount Charleston Peak. Now this hike is about 17.2 miles round trip with about 4,618 feet of elevation gain, I believe. So this is gonna be a really tough hike, but I'm very excited to do it. So this is actually going to be my second time hiking to the top of Mount Charleston Peak. Now there are two different ways to get to the top of uh, Mount Charleston Peak. One is the North Loop Trail, the other is the South Loop Trail. Right now I'm on the South Loop Trail. I did the North Loop Trail about five years ago and that one's actually supposed to be a little bit harder than this one. So the South Loop Trail starts at the Cathedral Rock Trailhead. I was here about a month and a half ago, if you remember, and I did the Griffith Peak Trail. If you have not seen that video, I'll definitely stick a link to that so you can check it out. Um, it starts off pretty much the same way as the Mount Charleston Trail. So if you're looking for a hike that's somewhat challenging but not quite as long, like 10 miles round trip, but still pretty awesome, I would highly recommend uh, Griffith Peak Trail, so definitely check out that video. All right, with no further ado, on with the hike. So from what I've heard, and I'll confirm this later on, is the toughest part of the hike is the first four miles where you're doing switchbacks straight up. And then it goes to a saddle, mellows out a little bit, and then you get to the part where you got to go up the uh, Charleston Peak, and that part's difficult too. But the most difficult part is the first four miles. So to give you an idea of what I'm doing from this point, this right here, I'm going to be switchbacking up. Time to press on. Got to conquer the mountain. So I've just reached one of the cool overlooks. It's a little bit hazy this morning because of the California fires and uh, the smoke kind of reaches all the way over here. Don't quote me on this, but I'm thinking I'm probably like halfway up the switchbacks, maybe a little bit more than that. And like I mentioned before, this is a tough hike and these switchbacks are definitely part of the reason. So I'm pretty close to the campground area now where there's a lot of burned trees everywhere from the uh, Carpenter One fire seven years ago. Yeah, look at all that burned bark just slip right off the tree. So right over there, that is Griffith Peak. And that is a uh, 10 mile hike round trip. So this is the very last part of the switchbacks. And this is the toughest part also. But we're almost to the uh, saddle. At this part of the hike, I have to take multiple breaks. Oh yeah, this part really sucks. So I just got done with the switchbacks and now I'm heading up toward Charleston Peak. So I'm about halfway maybe till I get to the summit. Thankfully though, the uh, most of the elevation gain was achieved in the first four miles. So between here and the summit, this is unexplored territory for me, you know, since I've only done the North Loop Trail and I've done Griffith Peak. So this will be interesting.
So you guys are in for a little bit of a treat before we um, reach the summit of Mount Charleston. Uh, there's actually a plane crash site and uh, it's a military plane. I'll go more into detail of what I know when I get there. This is pretty insane how much devastation the Carpenter One fire had on Mount Charleston seven years ago. This fire was a big fire. It burned a lot of acres and it lasted for about a month. But the burned trees are cool looking in their own way and they're very photogenic. I'm not quite to the peak yet, but uh, I'm extremely tired. I'll make it though. The views up here are amazing. That's the best part. That's what keeps me going. I'm so high up right now and this view is just insane. Wow. And in front of me, I have total utter fire devastation. Pretty crazy. What an awesome hike. So I totally wouldn't bet my life on it, but I'm hoping that's the top of Mount Charleston right there. Hopefully. I must be a sadomasochist doing hard, painful hikes like this all the time. <laughs> so that was not the peak. That was a false summit. That is the peak right there, Mount Charleston. Whew. I must have been smoking crack when I decided to do this hike. Wow, look at that view. Too bad it's a little um, hazy from all the California wildfires. That's the summit, that's the final destination. So here's a military plane wreckage back from 1955 and you can see wreckage actually on the side of the mountain. Okay so what I do know about this wreckage is back in 1955 a uh, military airplane was flying um, around Mount Charleston and unfortunately there was a storm brewing and the plane had no visibility and crashed into the side of the mountain. 14 people died unfortunately as well because of it. It's pretty sad. All right, making the final descent up Charleston Peak. Can't wait to get there. Oh Lord, I can't wait to get to the top. Oh, That's it right there, the finish line. Almost.
did it. I made it to the top. This hike is no joke. It's extremely hard, but I feel very accomplished and thankful I made it to the top. This view is incredible.